What it do you two, what the business is. Just want to make a real quick video on the whole Soldier Slim and Silk the Shock of Beef. I don't know if a lot of y'all remember that, but if anybody knows who Soldier Slim is, Soldier Slim is a rapper out of New Orleans, the third war, Magnolia to be exact, you know, six and Willow Court, you know, the six court Willow, how you would say, you know what I'm saying? Now, to the Magnolia, he's known as Magnolia Slim, you know, they don't too much refer to him as Soldier Slim, because Soldier Slim is something that ran with within the No Limit, you know, when he started running with the boys on that side, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Silk the Shocker, man, the younger brother of Master P and C Murder, you know what I'm saying? Now, they had their little issues when P and uh, Soldier Slim started having their little issues. Now, keep in mind, C Murder and Soldier Slim is like, damn, they best of friends, you know what I'm saying? Now, we'll catch Soldier Slim in the Cali, oh, you'll catch C Murder in Anoya, you know, off both off the strength of them being cool like that, you know, back, especially in the time where it was a no-no for them to even be doing some shit like that, but just a statue of who both they is, you know, within they hoods and the love and respect they had for each other, man, they was doing that, you know, give a damn who was saying what or what, but, so, Silk the Shocker, man, you know, was throwing shots at Soldier Slum, you know, whether it was through other people, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, fuck Slim, man. He ain't talking about nothing, man. You know, I ain't really rocking with him, man. To keep this and pee and shit like that. And, uh, it's funny because C wasn't really doing too much, you know. Probably C was trying to, probably feeling the same way Slim was feeling about his own brother P, you know. So that's probably why too much C didn't say nothing to Slim about the shit. So who knows? But Silk the Shocker, man, was constantly throwing shots at Soldier Slim, you know, and Soldier Slim, man, will return the shots back, you know, and they'll go back and forth within the shit, you know, and uh, Soldier Slim even told him one time, man, on the record was like, I wasn't gonna fuck with you on a strength of C, but I ain't gonna fuck over you on a strength of P, you know, he was basically telling that man, you know, man, I wasn't gonna say nothing to you, I wasn't even gonna respond to you off the strength of me being cool with C murder, but now I'm a this the fuck out you go straight in on you put the pressure on y'all to string of your other brother p you know so that's how that shit went man but rest in peace to soldier slim man shout out to silk the shock free c murder shout out to p you know soldier slim has been a real realist you know especially a real lyricist you know but more so of a real realist you know like everything that he's put on them tracks man has been something that's really happened you know something that he's really done ain't too much of something that he's about to do or, or it's something that all, he's already done, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's winning plenty of guys, man, you know, but it's more so of the guys going at him, you know, like, he, he's won at P, you know, it's, it's even rumors of him uh, wanting to go at BG and Juvenile before they was even, you know, when he had got out, you know, he, he's won at Crazy, you know, he's, he's won at Silk, he's won at a lot of guys, man, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, there's a particular song, man, called, uh, if it's beef by Soldier Slim, you know, and they saying that uh, it stems from him being killed, you know. It's, uh, I, I don't too much think it stems from him being killed. I think it uh, it's something that he did before the song, you know. He was already in the works, you know. He just put the song out there. So by the time the song was put out, a lot of people would say that that's why it got killed because of the song. But it's really because of what he did, you know. Not what he said in the song is what he did for him to say what the hell he said on that song. But... You know, it's a uh, police was investigating him about a murder of a man that got thrown into a river with some in blocks on his feet, you know, shit like that. And uh, he even raps about it on the song, you know. And uh, I ain't gonna say who he's referring to, but a lot of people in New Orleans, if y'all know, y'all know, you know, it's uh, supposedly an infamous street cat, you know, and BG even referred to them two, three times in a few songs, you know. Uh, He's saying a specific word, you know, he's saying how he got specific money on such and such since it was specific money put on Slim, you know, he's going to play that game with them, so, you know, it get wild within that shit, man, but a lot of people, uh, even, even a lot of people are familiar with the Crown TV Courts channel on YouTube, man. It's a series that they touch on with the 3NG guys, now the 3NG guys, they end up killing one of the guys on there named Man Man, and Man Man was with Magnolia Shorty, now Man Man ran with Slim, you know, he's one of his peoples, you know, one of the be stupid people, you know, one of them uh, Dooney boys, I guess you would say, and uh, they was into it with that, because 3NG 
somewhat rode and was cool with the motherfuckers who put the hit out on Slim. So, you know, I ain't going to say no names on who did what and what. But, yeah, man, if you look into it, if you know, you know, man. But if you do more research on the shit, man, you'll really find out on what really happened with Slim, man. But rest in peace, so Slim Shot. Yeah.